you guys, I'm sure you guys all saw the pictures of uh, the dresses that I made with the wonderful products from Gun Gone Artsy. My goodness, I had so much fun um, that I had so much fun doing this, and I enjoyed working with Deb's products so much. It was really awesome. Uh, to have this opportunity and I first I'm going to show you guys the dresses because you know pictures and does not do these products justice not even video let me turn on this light so we could have a little bit more light hopefully that's better and the first one is this one and this is Let's see if we could prop it up a little bit more. You guys are going to see me a little bit here. Sorry. Make you dizzy. But this is one of the dresses. And it's using products from Deb Store. And I'm going to show you guys how to do the dress form to dress it like this. You And I used her lace here and um, she also sells this mesh bling, the diamond wrap mesh bling in her, in her shop and I used a crystal from the Eye of God charm that she has which this is the rest of it. I used a couple pieces from that so that's dress number one and then dress number two is this pink one and then this lace here this pink one is also in Deb's shop and this do it this way this little uh, trim is also in her shop and this is that ivory uh, lace that I used in the champagne color dress also so this is another style And then the third dress is this one here. It's kind of long. Can't see if you guys can see it. But it, this gorgeous white lace uh, is also from Deb's store. It's the um, flower and uh, vine, I believe it is, white lace. And this little white trim with pearls. And this is the other piece of the Eye of God charm that I used and a heart applique uh, so all of that was from Deb's store and I used little bits and pieces from my stash like this little flat back pearl and these little uh, blings here and there and this um, this pearl trim is from my stash so you can use different things to um create your your dresses so what you will need is this toilet tissue tube okay and what you will do is that you will flatten it out like this and cut it in half you just take your scissors and you just cut it right in half and open it up flat so you have it opened like this and you're going to mark with the ruler Let me get my ruler here I use centimeters because this is a small piece and it was just easier for me to work in centimeters and um, you're gonna take the long side of the toilet tissue because you have a short end like this so if you open it up like this you're going to mark the top and bottom long sides not the sides that are shortest the longest sides which are about 13 centimeters and in inches it is about five and a quarter as mine so and then the sides in inches would be four inches or almost four and a little four and a quarter so you're talking about a one inch difference on each side so the longer side is the one that you're going to mark and you're going to mark every centimeter Oops, let me turn this around you're going to mark every centimeter 
here. And it is the simplest thing. This was not my idea, by the way. I got this, making this dress form from um, Fiona Jennings on YouTube. And she has a tutorial on how to do these. And when I saw it, because I, I love dress forms, so when I saw it, I was like, that is perfect. No, the, the longer sides. The long side. This long side here in inches is five and a quarter. So we're going to mark on the five and a quarter. The shorter side is four and a quarter. So you don't want to mark the four and a quarter side, which is the shorter side. You want to mark the longer side. Okay, very important. And you'll see why a little later. So you're marking. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be neat as long as you mark because you just need that to like guide you. So on both sides, as you can see, we mark. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to fold this in half so that you have your markings here on one side and then on the other side. So when you open up, you have that your markings are on either side and your line is straight down the middle. And that's important because we're going to mark a line. You can draw a line in pen so you could see it easier where you folded like that. So that way you'll be guided better. Because what you're going to do is now that you're going to place the ruler to match up from one mark to the other. And in between you're going to mark, you're going to need two centimeters on either side of the line that you drew. Okay, so on the left side of your line that you drew here down the middle, you're going to have two centimeters. On this side, you're going to have two centimeters. And I'll show you what I mean right now. What I do is that I line up the ruler here. And again, this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You know, it's not rocket science. So four to five at the six, seven, seven to eight. So this is what you'll do all the way down. See? You've got a total of four centimeters going across. In inches, it would be, in inches, it would be one and a half. One and a half inches. You want to do inches. Okay? So you have one and a half inches going across, you know, uh, evenly on each side. And then you're going to do that all the way down each little line that you have so that you'll have something like this when you're done okay next up that you're gonna do is that you're gonna need your self-healing mat and a cutter hang on let me see I have this nice set that my husband got me and I already did this set you guys excuse my nails I got um ink on them I was working with um resin and alcohol inks last night uh so you're going to cut on each one of those lines that you marked they're in the middle just going across going across each one cutting all the way down and you're going to have them all like this see so they're all cut all the way down to the end. Okay? Next thing you're going to do, and I saved this, uh, this one to do it with you guys, is because it's a little tricky. Well, you got to remember is what it is, is that you're going to not cut this first rectangle, but you're going to cut the next one. In. and I'll show you guys right now so you guys can see just going to snip and snip like that hopefully you guys can see my lighting is not the best right now here there 
okay and you're gonna do that all the way down you're going to cut one skip one cut one skip one cut one skip one all the way down all right and I will do the rest of these right quick so you guys can see what I mean And this is like one of those things where you're like, whoa, that is so easy. I could do that. You know? And you're reusing things that you would normally just throw away. I'm big for that. I love that. I love reusing. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you all. And there were um, a few who had contacted me and wanted to be here but couldn't. Some have um, personal uh, reasons and others are celebrating birthdays, anniversaries, and stuff like that. And we're not going to be able to make it. So now you've got this and it looks almost like a gate. You got your line running down the middle. You got the little lines that you marked at the top and the bottom. And you have cut your rectangles. So, awesome. We have 10 viewers. Woohoo! That's great. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. It, it helps me to feel a little bit less nervous. I think that what makes me nervous about this is that it's live. There's no editing. <laughs> so whatever oopsies there are, you can't get rid of. They're done. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is what we have so far. And it looks like a little gate. So now you're, what you want to do is because this center line will be the center of, like, let's say the cleavage line. So you want to give it a little shape because the top part will be like the bodice of the dress form and this bottom part will be the, the skirt. So I, it depends on how deep you want the neckline to go, but I drew a line like this here. And then you fold it in half so you can cut them together at the same time so both sides will be equal. Okay, and then another thing that you're going to want to do, which I didn't do this step, but hang on a second. I will show you guys because you want the back to kind of have like a little shape too because it's going to be like your shoulder line after you cut and then your, your back line. So this is pretty much the shape that I draw and I cut. Like I said, it doesn't have to, it's not rocket science. You could do however, you know, you want. But see, so this is your cleavage line right here, and then this will be your back. This is the shoulder part, okay? Well, there go the oopsies already. All right, so let's cut them together at the same time so that way they can be somewhat equal. And once again, this isn't, um, you know... Nothing that has to be like super perfect. Okay. So then you'll have something like this. All right. Now, next we're going to glue. And how you're going to glue this is you're going to glue these two side panels. The ones that you didn't cut on the end, you're going to glue one on top of the other. <laughs> one on top of the other. Ah. Uh, and the way you're going to glue this is that you do not want to glue on the little line you have marked. You're going to put a dab of hot glue on either side of that line and then bring them together so that it'll be closed right there. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to be out of um, camera view right now while I do this. But you guys will be able to see the result and once again it doesn't have to be super perfect you now you're just gluing that in there because you want which we're doing is creating the shape of the dress form that's what we're doing here 
And this is, you know, this is a very economical way to do it. You know, you can make the little dresses out of felt maybe and use them as like little pin cushions. Like, you know, put special pins that you want to look at and have them on your on your craft table. Um, ready, but it's a cute idea. It's really cute. So we're already forming, as you can see, the dress form. And we've got this back one. So now this back one will be able to bend in the middle because we didn't put glue there. So now you're going to put a dab of glue at the top and the bottom. But when you glue the top and the bottom, kind of like spread it out a little bit so that you could give it a little bit of a shape. Just a little, just slightly, not a whole lot. Just to give it like a form, like a more curvy form. Okay. And just hold that in place a few minutes. Thanks, Dub. And then the bottom. So now you've got it. See how it's already like kind of buckling because of how we glued there that we kind of like separated a little bit is the reason why. So the next step will be is that you want to bring all of these inward. Inward. And see where I'm telling you about the, the cleavage line right there? That's what happens. And you're going to take a thread, take a needle and thread, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap thread around the waist to give it its form. And you can already see it's a cute little dress form. Oh, that's great. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys like my music. I, that, this is how I create. It helps me. It helps me relax. So, we've got needle and thread ready to go here, and you're going to, if I can find it, there you go, because I knotted the end of my thread so that I can then just come in and like pull it and make it like that nice and tight, as you guys can see. So, in order to secure it nicely though, you want it tight enough so that they're touching the ends, the little um, spaces are just touching. You don't want it so tight so that they're like on top of each other, like one on top of the other. So you're going to wrap your thread a few times around just to give it some stability and make it secure. And then you're going to make a little knot there to secure your thread so that nothing comes undone. These are super cute to make. I plan on making some for my uh, my daughter's baby shower. I'm going to make some with uh, maternity little outfits. Make them, make them look like they're little pregnant pregnant dresses and make a cute little banner for her um, with these. I mean the possibilities are endless with this. And now you have your dress form ready to go. Ready to be dressed. And no need to paint if you don't want to. Nothing is going to be really seen unless you lift up the dress after they're done. Um, I did on this pink one, I put, just to show, I put a little piece of fabric inside so you can't see anything in there. Um, it depends on the view. If you're going to have them down low, then you might want to do something like this. But if not, this is pretty much how it'll look 
without having anything. And you can see, I mean, it's not, not really no big deal. But if you're going to use them as a banner and they're hanging up high, it, it won't really matter. But you can cover it beforehand, you know, painting it or... You know, like I said, I like the fabric idea because you're you're gonna glue in there, and painting it won't really do much to hide that. So next thing you're gonna need is a piece of fabric. This little piece of fabric, because what I do, I eyeball everything. I do. It's very rare that I measure something. I eyeball it. So once you have your dress form, you can just pretty much cut a piece of fabric and see. You need enough to be able to tuck it in to glue on the top side and then you need enough to be able to fold it in to make a little um, clean hem there so it won't keep fraying so when you glue it everything is like nice and finished okay this bottom part does not matter as long as it's past that waistline your fabric needs to come past this part here in order because if not it'll ride up when you put the skirt part because this is going to be the bodice covering the bodice so when you put the skirt um you don't want that to ride up and then be all wrinkly and ugly so what i do is that i take a, a dab of hot glue and i put it here right in the center first um, well, in the front part, that's the back part. In the front part, I put a dab of glue to secure it there first, leaving enough um, overhang to be able to tuck it in and glue as I go. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just put a little dab of glue there. And what that little dab of glue does is that it helps me, it helps hold my, my fabric for me. So I don't have to be holding it as tightly I have more freedom to work okay and it doesn't matter what fabric I just like to use the satin fabric you can use whatever fabric you want it depends on what um, type of little dress you're gonna make obviously so and to me it doesn't matter if the material here is like super crinkly or not because it's going to I'm gonna decorate that anyway but what I do is is that I cut a slit right down into the cleavage so that I could be able to wrap it easier and you won't have you know cuz doing it like this it'll just puff and it'll look horrible so I cut that little slit beforehand before going any further and I don't cut it like all the way all the way down I leave just a little tiny bit before going all the way down the fabric if you guys can see that okay and so now we're going to glue these the excess fabric going in you see the difference where it is it'll glue in nicely now it'll be smooth on the edge okay so let me do that and unfortunately I have to be a little bit out of um, frame here for a second but I will show you step by step as I go gluing first let me fold in those little flaps so you can see what I mean and then I'll continue with the rest of the gluing okay give me one second So, glued those first little flaps there. And I, you know, like I said, it do, don't worry about um, little gaps and stuff. They'll, they'll keep on smoothing out as you go gluing. So, you keep on gluing all the way around, tucking in, tucking and gluing, tucking and gluing, tucking and gluing, um, leaving a little bit of space for the back one so that you can do that over I mean you can glue one side completely over right and then leave there a second one so that you can be able to create that crease to fold over and then glue under you'll see what I mean in a minute 
So I'll keep on gluing this. And you guys just chat. And we're going to use some awesome so that uh, Deb can start or Rhonda or Deb, whoever is doing the links, can start looking for it. But I'm going to be using this wonderful lace here that's um, almost like peacock, kind of. And this is what's going to cover my skirt. It's uh, uh, like a purplish and like a hints of green and like a baby blue almost. Um, not sure, but this is wonderful. I love the way it feels. It is so soft. It is a wonderful, wonderful uh, lace. It's embroidered, so it is absolutely stunning in person. You have to see it. And my skirt is just fabulous. I mean, I, I'm, I love playing with this stuff. I've never used this kind of um, embroidered lace before, so it's a lot, a lot of fun. We're also going to be using from Deb's store this wonderful trim, and it's an ivory flower garland trim. I believe it's called and this is adorable I love working with this and we're going to use -dum. Ah, an applique heart like this of course I dyed mine because her laces and that are these are all cotton you can dye them so I'm going to use this um, cute applique rose applique rose heart it's a rose and a heart applique that is cute. I'm going to be using that. Um, and I'm going to be using some of the Diamond Wrap Mesh Bling. She has that in her store as well. Uh, and I will be using some... Oh, I'm going to be using this uh, trim as well. It's this EXO trim, I believe it's called. Not too sure. I don't know the exact name right now of it. I'm sorry, um, but I'm sure they'll put the links for you guys there. It is adorable. Wait till you see how I'm going to put it on my little skirt. So let me finish gluing here while you guys, guys get those links up. Those are the wonderful products that I'm going to be using. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Hopefully for the next class that I give, my computer will be fixed and then I'll be able to record. Um, but no biggie, like I said, I will definitely do a special YouTube for those that missed it. Okay. You guys can enjoy listening to my music. Get another glue stick in here. This is the time that works best for me to to do my use stream for the moment because, um, as most of you know, I have a son who is uh, autistic. He's a uh, on the spectrum. And um, he, my craft room is close by to where he plays. And he, uh, he can get pretty loud sometimes. So, and he's, uh, he's high functioning. So he's always having questions for me. So it would be a little difficult to give class with him because of that. I love my baby though. Love him, love him, love him. And I am almost done gluing here. This is the tedious part of this, is the gluing part. You're gluing, gluing and gluing and gluing. And it, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, the inside can be covered. But see, I'm almost done covering that over hang okay 
that is looking pretty good. So now you have all of your whole overhang glued in. So when you put your skirt, it'll be nice and tight like that. So what I like to do is cover this part before going any further. Like if you notice in, in the white dress, I used that uh, rose and heart applique to cover the bodice after I had covered the fabric. So this is how my applique turned out after I dyed it. I wanted it to match uh, the lace, this wonderful lace, and also the, the green fabric. So I will be gluing this on here to give it more of um, a bodice look, okay? Oh, lost my phone. Hang on. Let's see? Okay. So bear with me while I do that. Make sure I'm gluing it on right. Okay. And the best way to glue these is little by little. You know, and um, I always use a hot glue gun. My fingers are already used to it, but you can. If you have the patience to wait for drying time and then you can use fabric glue or um, the glue that uh, Deb and Rhonda have been using. Hmm, that's interesting. Question, Christy. Um, I'm going to have to try that out. But I'm sure that, yeah, that that would work. Uh, once you glue the overhang, if you add a little bit of cotton um, into the fabric itself, to give it a little bit more uh, definition, sure, before you continue gluing anything else. Right after you do the overhang, you can add some cotton to the front and then uh, continue with your gluing. Sure, absolutely. That would be uh, interesting to see the different forms. It depends on uh, the look that you're going for and what you want to do. If you want to make her a little bit more curvy, then sure, um, cotton balls would work. <laughs> you guys have seen her a little too flat, huh? <laughs> Let me finish gluing here. Mm. All these strings. That's the only bad thing about the glue gun is all the strings. They can be irritating. So this is how the bodice is looking so far. Okay, let me get all of this glue off of my fingers. Everything is sticking to me. Okay, so we got that part done. And before I continue um, doing any kind of decorating on that, any more decorating, I want to work on the skirt just because it'll make it easier to do anything else on here. I do not know why my room looks kind of dark today when I am right by the window. Let me see if maybe I can get some of this natural light if I move the curtains a bit. Get some natural light for you guys in here. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Okay, so we're at, next what you're going to do is that you're going to cut a piece of fabric, same thing, I don't measure or anything, 
I just eyeball it and you want enough so that when you gather it, it gives it a little bit of form, you know, to the bottom. Um, for instance, like in the champagne dress, you can see that it has a form. It's gathered at the waist. And I sewed it on, on my machine and I did it prior to the class just so you guys wouldn't be hearing my machine um it could be annoying but what i did was that i'll show you with the the actual dress part that i made what i did was so this is what it'll look like doesn't that look cute i love this color color combo this green um satin material looks gorgeous with this lace i loved it loved it loved it loved it what i did was that i laid my green fabric flat and i placed my lace on top of that mm -hmm. making sure that it thank you deb that it is equal amount and you want to take a hem to the bottom okay so that it doesn't um fray okay you don't have to if you like a shabby look you know if you want it to be kind of fraying and, and and that's the look you're going for then hey you know you can do that or if you're working with a material that doesn't fray that's fine too but once you have that done then you're going to fold over the top edge so that it meets with your lace so that because what you're going to do is that once you make make a tube because that's what I did I made a tube with the fabric you sew down one side and it creates a tube so then the top edge you're going to do a running stitch so where the lace ends here is your bottom and where you do the running stitch is your top and that is where you're going to cinch that around the waist of your dress form so all I need to do while I'm with you guys is do just that. You can use matching thread. I, I'm using white. And I knot the thread at the end just so that it won't slip. And then you just start a little running stitch or gathering stitch, however you guys um, call it. So, And really, this is what makes the dress right here this part and I just put pins so that it wouldn't move my my lace around and I need new new uh, needles these are I've used this one so much that it's not sharp enough anymore my goodness So it doesn't have to be perfect or equal, you know, just the running stitch. You just want it to be able to gather around. And Deb has a sale going on in her store. Um, if she can tell you guys about that, uh, it's for the President's Day. It's a President's Day sale. They can let you guys know what is the, the code that you need to get your discount for that. And so when you when we have sales like that, you need to like take advantage. I mean, her stuff is just awesome. The quality is just great, great quality. I love that she sells things in half yard increments, which means you can try a little bit of everything, you know, and, and then figure out what you like the best before you start buying up, you know, whole yards and stuff. That is like the best idea ever. I love that. So see here I'm gathering and see how it's already a little skirt. Look at how cute. Now it's time to dress our girl. So you're going to slip the skirt on her. 
like so and then once you've got her there and you line up your your back seams you're going to pull your string tight not so tight that it's like really bad but just enough to create a waist there see so you've got yourself a nice waistline and then you're going to tie off your string so this none of this gets undone tie it off double knot it love this color combo I'm usually not a green girl but I was thinking about spring especially since we still have snow on the ground and it's really this cold is doing a number on my on my bones I tell ya but um I thought spring wedding wouldn't this be cute Easter dresses you know all of that I was thinking about Easter colors these pretty little dresses that the little girls wear and um you know just fun fun nice and warm cozy so now you just like spread out the gathers you just spread out the gathers so that it's kind of even and um paying very special attention to the front you want the front because if you're making a banner like I'm making, I'm, th these will form a banner when I'm done. And this uh, banner will consist of four dresses and some little, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to put in between them yet. I'm still undecided. But as soon as I'm done, I'll post pictures on the blog and on my page so everybody can see. But so far, what do you guys think? Isn't that cute? You have a little dress already. Now, all you have to do is decorate. So I was thinking with that XO trim, this is what I did. I had this really pretty um, little light blue lace that was gifted to me. And all I did was thread the lace through it to make like a little belt and I thought this would look cute because it'll pick up on the blue tones so that around the middle what do you guys think around the middle I think it looks beautiful I think that looks great I would rock this <laughs> I would so rock this all right, so I gotta figure out how how many. Hold on, it is going to be awesome. Glad you guys like it. Thank you. All right, so it'll be up to here. So I need to undo a few of these. I gotta undo a few of these. Be patient with me for a second. And you can see, I mean, how quickly you can put these together. I mean, I'm pretty much, you know, going a little bit slower because I'm teaching, but you guys can put this together fairly quickly. You know? and make a bunch of these and it would be interesting to see all the different um, ideas you guys come up with on how to use them I would really like to see that get those um, creative juices flowing <laughs> so pretty much I'm just tying it on using the the exo trim as kind of like a belt and tying this on I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail 
to it in the back. Just these are fun. They are a lot of fun to make. Uh, and I tell you, it was difficult for me to put together this for this class because I'm the type of person that creates in the moment. It's hard for me to like have a plan in place. It rarely works out. Um, so it took me a long time to put this together for today's class. Because I kept on looking for different co color combos and stuff and what would work. So I left a little bit of overhang in the, you know, in the back, little tails. And there is the dress with the belt. Okay. Now what I want to do is that I want to uh, bring out parts of the dress. Even though it has this gorgeous embroidery, I want to bring it out. And that's where this little flower garden is going to come in. There are um, places in the dress on the bottom in the embroidery that will allow for me to place a little flower. I don't want to use the whole garden garland going around, but what I will do is place a flower here and there. I will, you know, and it's spaced out nicely so it won't be overpowering. But I want to share with you guys a little trick that I discovered. You know when you cut, like in this case, this little flower, and you have like these little knobs of where you cut. All you have to do is take a lighter. And very carefully that you don't get burned, use the lighter to melt those down. And you won't be able to even see those little knobs. They're gone, presto. And it looks cleaner. And you can't really tell that those came off of a strand once you um, got those all done. So I'm thinking, let me see how many is. One, two, three. Uh, four, five, six. Looks like it's six. One, two, three, uh, four, five, and six. Here goes six. And so you melt those little knobs off. And it's very super quick. Or if you don't want to use a, a, a lighter, you can pinch it with uh, with tweezers, pinch little flower with tweezers and put it to a candle flame. Just don't leave it too long, just like really quick, because if not, you'll melt your little flower, your little piece, and that would not be good. Okay. And it doesn't, uh, if you know, if you, you don't want to leave it long too, because then, then you get like that smoke stain on it. That also would not be good. So now I got all my little flowers prepped. I will use hot glue to put a little bit of dab, just a little dab of glue there, and start gluing my little flowers around. And I mean, this is really, really going to give it that fancy look. It's a little bit of embellishment. I mean, and you can embellish as little or as much as you want with this. And you guys will see what I mean in a minute. Awesome products. Take advantage of the sale, guys. I'm telling you, if you have not visited... Uh, the shop yet please do because I guarantee you that you cannot go in that shop and look around and not put something in that cart I guarantee you these products are awesome and you know the cool thing is that you get to see how they're being used you know with the Ustream classes and on the blog um, you also see pictures my DT sisters they are absolutely talented awesome Awesome 
group of talented designers and they post the most wonderful projects to inspire you so this is what the dress looks like with those little pearl flower garland starting to look princessy I love everything princess see so if you want to bling it up a little bit more which of course I do <laughs> uh, there's always room for bling <laughs> I am going to use from my stash I have these little probably can't see them but they're just like these little blings they look I, I call them like honeycomb bling because they're like super faceted and they're not like the regular kind so I'm just gonna place a few here and there of those um, you know going by the design and stuff and that's just going to give it a little bit more definition to the dress to drawing attention to the embroidery actually and it'll look super fancy I love everything super blingy so anytime I can put bling on something I will here and so there is the dress ah blingy see I only put some here and there just to bring out the pattern of the embroidery so now we can focus on here on the bodice we need sleeves because if you're gonna hang it on a banner then you need sleeves to be able to hang it on the hanger. Now, these little hangers, I made them myself. I made them out of wire, and then I glued on ribbon and the little bling there. Um, I don't have one made right now for this dress, but we are going to decide, and I need you guys to help me decide this. What am I going to use for the sleeves? The two, um, the belt and the little flowers are like an ivory mm -hmm. colored. So I can either, since there is like bling here, I can either oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Malta. So I we could either use the the diamond mesh bling for sleeves or like in the pink dress here we could go with this one since it's already part of the design see how I use them for sleeves here if you guys can see that you tell me what should I do the mesh bling or the flower for for sleeves I'm thinking this is what the, I'm thinking the flower ones look adorable that's the flower and then this is the the mesh bling what do you guys think mesh bling sleeves or the flower I'm thinking the flower. If you guys think anything like me, you'll say flower. Oh, too much too flower. All right, I'll show it again. 
I'll show it again. Here is the flower sleeve. Keep in mind that it also is here. Uh oh. It's also on the dress itself. So that's that sleeve. But we have this bling here. So it would go also with the skinny strapped mesh bling. Deb, your call. <laughs> okay, flower it is. So in order for the flower pattern design to show, you have to glue on the front part of the flower onto the dress. So that way you can see the design out. So that's how we'll do that. Put a little bit of hot glue on there. And then you're going to place it just to the side. Just to the side. Not right on the side of the dress one just off to the side like this see so like if you're doing the heart applique like i am just at the end of that heart applique and then you're going to bring it and you're going to decide how long how how much how high you want it and this is pretty much just eyeballing it, guys. In this case, I'm going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flowers because I am going to glue one. So it'll be seven flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Same for the other side. So you're going to cut those out. and glue and once again to the back is just to the side not in the center just to the side of the center slightly off and I'm going to glue the other strap here these are so much fun to make it is so fun to see them coming together you know when you first start you're starting off pretty much with nothing it's not like you're you know taking something that's already put together and altering it you're making this yourself from beginning to end so it is very satisfying to see the end result let me just clean off all of these Spider webs, <laughs> these glue strands that keep on getting in my way. And let me fix these real nice. So there is the dress with the straps. I think she needs a little bit of bling or something here in the front. Let's see what we have here. And let me tell you, Deb has the most amazing bling. Look at this. This might be too big. Let me think. Huh? Actually, for me, no, because I love, I love the bling. Look at that. That is like a big piece, but that's a little bit too big, I'm thinking. A bit too big. How about something like... Oh, that looks pretty. But I don't know if it's too big. It goes with the heart shape. This is another bling that she has in her store. Look at how cute that is. It's a heart shaped also, like with a bow uh, bling. So, because it definitely needs a little something there. What do you guys think? Do you think that is like too much or yes? Do or not do? Should I go with something smaller? Something more simple? How about something... Um, 
What else do I have around here? Mm -mm. I think these are all too big. Or we can do like the little bling in the center here. Maybe. So something as simple as that. I don't know if you guys can see. Something as simple as that. Nah, I'm not liking that too much. How about if I go in my button stash? <laughs> but, let me tell you. If my dresser room would have been bigger, I would have definitely have put this one. Which, by the way, you can make it bigger. A dangle one. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so check it out. I was thinking, you know, it would be cool to make these bigger. And how cool and fun would those be to, you know, to decorate. So I was playing around, and guess what? Yep. I used lightweight chipboard, which is, this was an old cookie box, and I made a bigger dress form. All you have to keep in mind is that one side needs to be one inch shorter than the other. So on one side, like for instance this here, the long side is nine inches, and the shorter side, oh, well, nine and a half inches, and the shorter side is eight and a half inches. So you can make these any size you want. It doesn't have to be the toilet paper roll. You you just need pretty much a rectangle and divide it in half and make them any size you want. How fun is that? All right, we'll use this dangle because I absolutely love this dangle. Look at how gorgeous once again, and this is in Deb store. I love it. It's adorable. A little heart with a bow. And I thought it would match cute because the applique is a, a, a heart. So let's just put that right on there. Put some glue. And put that on right there. And that is super cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? You know, because you need that little sparkle to catch attention, right? <laughs> okay, and uh, at this point, I mean, you could say, okay, I'm done. I love the way it looks. It's gorgeous. I'll stop. Or you can keep on adding like for instance to finish off these edges up at the top maybe some diamond mesh bling let's try a little bit of that like I said you can never have too much bling I am serious I am a bling girl So you're just going to glue around the edges. One thing is that it'll give it a more um, finished look. It'll be more finished. And it'll be sparkly when it's up on your, your banner. So just go all the way around gluing the mesh plane, finishing off that edge. And I can't wait to see all the little dresses you guys make. And Deb has gorgeous, you know, laces. She has, like the pink one that I made, she has this gorgeous, like, gold colored embroidery. It is super beautiful. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I, I ordered some of that from her. Um, so I'm excited to get that. And uh, she has other laces. She has black, um, the burgundies. She got a burgundy one. Oh, she's got this gorgeous orange one, too. That would make a really beautiful dress. So you guys can, like, you you have to go to her store. There's just, there's just no other way. And like I said, you can buy in half-yard increments and try out which ones you like the most. You don't have to spend a ton of money on yards and yards of material that you might, may or may not like. 
you know this way you try a little sampling of um, everything and you get to choose your favorites so here is the dress with the bling around all the edges as you can see it gives it a nice finished look um, I think on a couple of them did I go no I didn't I didn't go but you can see how it gives it a nice finished edge on that one and it looks more complete so there's your dress guys I hope you like this tutorial thank you all so much for coming and um, helping me I was super nervous but it um, helps to know that you have friends that are are um, backing you up supporting you are here and I am thrilled to be part of uh, Deb's design team uh, it is more like a family <laughs> and I feel right at home and I like I said I love the products I am having a blast playing with all of the products and I hope that you guys make these little dress forms and show them off at the blog on the blog or on the the fan page we also have a Facebook challenge page where every month a DT member um, post a challenge and there's no mailing involved all you have to do is create something in within the theme of the month which this month was a Valentine's theme uh, very easy post your pictures and or videos along with it and have a chance uh, to win a $10 gift card for the shop so that's a way to be able to get some product from the store also so I look forward to seeing you all at the fan page and on the blog thank you so much again for joining me you guys were awesome you know and it was difficult with the technical difficulties so thank you so much thank you guys thank you thank you I appreciate it appreciate the compliments so much you guys are so sweet thank you hugs Linda thank you so much for joining me you guys are great see you on the next one hopefully I'll, I'll have my computer situation straightened out and I'll be able to um, function a little bit better for you guys hope you all enjoy and hope you have a great rest of the afternoon it's nice and sunny out here even though it is freezing cold so those of you who are in the cold stay warm and those of you who are in the warmth keep staying warm and have fun in the sun see you guys soon bye take care